What's good, booze? It's Sheen Boo, and you already know. Welcome to Los Angeles. What's good, boos? It's Sheen Boo, and you already know. I'm a little salty because I'm using this G7X Mark III, and it looks really good outside. But I just filmed my Fashion Nova jeans haul with the same camera indoors. And I don't know if it's I was standing further away or not, but it didn't look like this. My Sony CB1, I think I said the other day, which is my favorite camera. This is a bomb camera. You should get it. Um, the G7X is really good too, but this is just better and it's like once you go up you can't go back, you know So because um, this goes to 1080p, which is good, but it does not do 4k, which is the step up um, I was on the beach and it got sand in it and You can literally hear the sand when you move it in and out and the lens won't shut all the way um, Which is a problem. So I need to send it in also has sand here i blew much of, as much as of it out as i can so i'm using and i've never used my g7x mark 3 really i think i may have used it for one video i sent my mark 2 in for repair and they sent me a mark 3 back so i need to go through and customize the settings like i did because this is what i'm gonna be vlogging with until i get this is what i'm gonna be vlogging with until i get my um camera back and I didn't call the Shurion twice and they keep saying oh you'll get the shipping label within two hours and I have not got it and it's like y'all already gonna keep it for a heck of weeks anyway and thank god I have another camera so I need them to figure it out but um I need to return some pajamas to children's place to Macy's and I want to get some more photos I took some on my phone um, I'm not sure if I want to show you them yet because I don't like them all. But let's get some directions to the children's place. And go, I'll show you. I don't know if I want to show the Christmas pajamas because if I want to keep them. I usually don't show my pajamas until Christmas. Because I don't want nobody else to have them. <laughs> at least not that I know. People all over the world get them. But at least not nobody I know. So yeah. Let's get this going and y'all can come with me. I didn't take my camera in Macy's last night. And I wish I would have because it looked like Christmas threw up in there. And um, I'm going to show y'all today though. Like I wish I would have brought it because y'all know I'm obsessed with Christmas. It's one of my favorite holidays. So let's get this party started. Oh, and I also wanted to tell y'all that it actually looks fall today. So I brought this with me just in case. And I took pictures without this, but I want to take some with this too. All right, y'all. My trunk is normally clean, but... I decided I was gonna put the small ring light in my trunk so I can use it to take pictures outside. So I bought that one. And this is all return stuff and this is my work bag. So, like for my YouTube stuff. So we're gonna get these Macy pajamas and these children's place pajamas and return them. That ain't children's place. I left a cover to my shades in the car. And I don't feel like turning around. So I don't like putting them in my purse, getting them scratched up. Look at this, y'all. Look how beautiful it is in here. Hi. Nobody told me the inside of the mall was open, so I totally missed out yesterday. I only went to Macy's because I came later. 
she said she'll just place this all the way down here so I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna stop by Old Navy if it's open because they usually have um, the Christmas pajamas too I would just be able to come right in here. They're closed, guys. They got all the goods right there. They got their jeans and stuff closed. on down there in Express. Here's the children's place. So children's place doesn't have any pajamas in store. So I couldn't exchange them and then Macy's the largest they had was a 2X. And they're playing music heck aloud in here so I really cannot vlog. It's hot to hear y'all. It's hot. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going back up the escalator to go to the men's because last night I got distracted and I went upstairs to get Daryl, my husband, if you don't know, some cologne. And I started buying him clothes. Okay, they were right, it's right here. I need to get him some cologne. All right, y'all, I'm done. I got Daryl's birthday gift in there, so I won't show you guys that. Um, so you yes. guys know those Fashion Nova pants that didn't fit? I have to take those uh, to the USPS store. I already paid for my shipping label. They charge you $7.99 to ship back. So if you didn't pay that much, sometimes it's just cheaper to keep it or to go ahead and give it to somebody else. Um, instead of sending it back if you got a good deal I got a text message I got distracted so I need to go to the USPS store get Daryl some food I think I'm going to just get a Chick-fil-A salad you already know what I get comment down below y'all know what I get because I say it all the time what I get from Chick-fil-A what type of salad I got a few missed calls I'm gonna show y'all one of the pictures that I like. So I took this. Um, oh, my camera's dying. I took this with this. And I'll go over this probably when I get home or in another video. Now the sun is out. Sunny. LA weather, stay trying to fool somebody. It is sunny outside. I knew it wasn't gonna really be gloomy for long that's why I didn't put the cardigan on this I'm getting sick and tired of this mask It's eating up all my lip gloss all my lip gloss we're gonna try this again I got my ZV1 packed up I had to call and ask for a supervisor and she sent the label 
she said let me make sure you get the label before i get off the phone like it makes no sense that i have to call three twice talk to a regular person and then on the third time ask for a supervisor just to get a shipping label to a company i pay insurance for for my camera excuse this I'm not trying to get no ticket and I haven't been able to find them out. I need to ask some of my YouTuber partners what they use in their car. But it makes no sense that I had to call three times just to get help. And it would have been a case on that camera. It would have been a case on that camera. Um, except for the one I ordered when I ordered the case for this camera. It was too it was the wrong one. I don't know how I did that, but I, I'm very careful with all of my items and it just seemed like back to back, I've had issues. So, yeah, I always keep cases on everything and Amazon doesn't have a colored one. I had ordered a yellow one and it was to a different Sony. It wasn't for the ZV-1. So, Um, I need to find a colored one for the ZV-1. The one that's on my camera is the same color as my watch. It's pink. And my camera is black, just like this is black. And then my cell phone, pink and black. All my accessories are hot pink accessories. All my accessories are hot pink and black. So for that camera, I didn't want to get yellow so I could distinguish between the two, even though they're two different cameras, but they're around the same size. So this is a horrible angle and I want to roll around with the windows down so I will catch you guys. I Now I have to go back to two places that I was already at. One place to get the label and one place to ship it. So I'm just going to send the ZV-1 back so I can get it back. Thank you. Y'all, that claim jumpers wasn't really it. But, um, uh, those sweet roll tacos, though, they're actually very light and airy. They're not thick at all. You don't feel like that heavy whipping cream, weight down. I just ate ice cream. Like, it feels light. Like, y'all, I can't believe me, excuse me, but light, like you just had a salad. Like, very good. All right, y'all, so this got it clean, but not clean enough for the type of floors that we have. So I'm returning it. See if there's another mop we can get. And can't tell, I'm at best spot.
Y'all, I've never seen this in all my years of living. Edible milk chocolate flavor, flavor candle topper. Now they get the ones with the hint of lime. Battery's about to die. So let me just do a pan. Got two packs of these. That's what's behind here. They have the popcorn vendor out front. I got those candles I was showing y'all. Artisan bread. Honey ham. Smoked gouda sour cream. So really this is just probably enough for two meals with leftovers. And then we got a few snacks. And I'm still trying to step my seasoning game up. But I got... We used to get these and we ran out and they don't come big. So I got two of these. And then I'm trying out these flavors. I think I'm going to sit in the back row. So I went ahead and put the popcorn in here with the remote. Daryl is getting ready to start cooking. <laughs> I was about that jar life, but Daryl had to upgrade me. He makes his own Alfredo sauce. Don't ask me what he put in it, because I don't know. He just <laughs> he just freehands everything, but it'd be bomb. And then I'm going to get set up for the frying over here. All right, y'all. So this is how you get some bomb fried fish, chicken, shrimp, whatever. On my chicken, I used to just use seasoned salt and black pepper and flour, because that's what my mom used. But then I started playing around with some of my own stuff. And this New Orleans fi uh, seasoned fish fry bomb. Um, and then I use a tiny bit of obey and a tiny bit of garlic salt. So today I'm doing fried shrimp and fried halibut. So it's already seasoned, but you do still need a little bit. Don't go too yeah, heavy. So I got the halibut right here. I'm about to do the seasoning. Same. That glass dish. So the halibut is done. I'm just waiting on the shrimp. So my pasta is here. Got my shrimp and my halibut. I don't like my wet touching my dry. So I put, put this little saucer on here to keep it from touching and getting the fried stuff soggy. This is what I'll be drinking. It's going to be my first time trying it. So I'm really hoping it's good. I was going to start off with water first and then do a cup of juice. But I'll start my water jug after I eat. I'll just insert some broccoli or something over here. <laughs> this is how you know I've been in a pandemic too long. I have too much hand, too much time on my hands. I've been playing with this living room since last night. I'm a fine. I'm gonna probably put it back like how it originally was. We have the uh, TV mount that extends, so I'm standing in front of the front door. This is what it looked like when you come in. So here's what it looks like with the light on. We have daylight blocker drapes, so as you can see, it's pretty dark. It's pretty dark in here. Good for a movie. When we had to Taz the Rabbit mount our TV, uh, they basically stripped the screw, so it's like a little tilted like that, if you could tell. But I'm sitting in the back row. And then... Let's go to the front. 
This is what it looks like from the front row. The, the TV is 65 inches. It's coming up a little smaller on camera, but it's 65 inches. So watch, when I push it back, it's gonna be straight. All right, see, now that it's flat to the wall, it is straight. Daryl's up there. He didn't want to sit back here because it's hard to see over the couch, but if he reclines, then I can see good. I don't really like the texture of halibut because it's kind of thick and I don't even think like halibut should be fried, but Daryl likes fried halibut and it's actually kind of good. Like, comment, and subscribe. Keep up with Sheen Boo all the time. Instagram, Twitter, Periscope, Sheen, Sheen Boo. You already know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Keep up with Sheen Boo all the time. Snapchat and all of that. You already know where Sheen Boo is at. Sheena Sheen Boo, you already know. Good night, Los Angeles.